फ्रेंड्स सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड विथ चैप्टर नंबर वन राइट टूडे वील बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द अदर मोड्स ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन इन प्लांट लाइक इन प्रीवियस टॉपिक्स वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट वट इज ऑटोट्रॉपिक मोड ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन वट इज हेड्रोट्रॉपिक मोड ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन देन आफ्टर वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट इन डिटेल हाउ डू प्लांट प्रोड्यूस देयर ओन फूड राइट दैट इज photosynthesis process that we have discussed in detail and then after we have discussed about a uh, how plants produce other nutrients other than carbohydrate right wherein we have discussed about how nitrogen is available to the plant fine so today we will be discussing about the other mode of nutrition in plant right so you will be very surprised like plants also do other mode of nutrition so yes it of course do other mode of nutrition but there are only few plants who perform who undergo other mode of nutrition than autotrophic right so why is it so so the one of the reason is that plant certain plants do not have chlorophyll now as they do not have chlorophyll so of course they cannot prepare their own food so they have to depend on other for the nutrition right so i would say there are plants which do not prepare their own food so which type of nutrition they will undergo heterotrophic nutrition right heterotrophic mode of nutrition wherein what plants depends on other plants or animals for the food right they cannot prepare their own food so they have to depend on other organisms only right so one of the reason why what i have said like why do plant undergo heterotrophic mode of nutrition that is they do not have chlorophyll and there are certain plants like like pitcher plant okay which what which prepares their own food why because it has chlorophyll but it does not prepare all the nutrients required by our body right whatever nutrient are required right all are not produced by the pitcher plant although it possesses chlorophyll so for certain nutrient it depends on animals like insects right so we will be discussing that in detail as well so <coughs> firstly as you can see over here in a picture right in this figure you can see right the figure is of cascuta okay this is cascuta plant wherein you see the yellow structure that is twinging around the plant twinging around the other plant right twinging means winding around the other plant and getting nutrition from that right why because cascuta cannot prepare its own food you can clearly see the yellow structure right understood yellow tubular structure that is twinging around the twinging on the other plant for its food right because it cannot prepare its own food so there comes so in this relationship where one plant is getting benefited that is cascuta right which acts as a parasite plant or parasitic plant whereas the other one which is getting loss which is giving its valuable nutrition to the cascuta right that plant is called host plant right so let us discuss those two terms the uh, what is the term parasite and other one is host right so what is parasite and what is host right so here we have discussed in the figure like what ke parasite is what cascuta so what if we can say about parasite you can say parasite can be an animal as well right so you can say the organism which gets which gets nutrients from the 
other organism is called parasite and here our example for parasite is pustula right so what is host right what does host mean then okay so host is what the plant from which from which the parasite is getting is taking a nutrient so what i can say host the organism papa nas ko rabo re so what is host the plant or organism what is host so what is host the organism from which other organism takes valuable nutrients right so that is called host right i hope you understood what is the parasite and what is host in the higher standards you will discuss like parasite and host this is one of the relationship relationship means wherein two organisms are living together so here we are discussing we we can see like parasite is a plant which is getting benefited whereas the host is host is a plant which is getting loss why because it is not say it it does not get anything from the other plant right host plant living with the parasite it is not getting any benefit okay so such kind of relationship is negative relationship wherein one organism is getting loss while the other organism is getting benefited fine so such so we can say that cascuta comes under the heterotrophic mode of nutrition right fine so now we would discuss about the second example wherein uh, plant is performing heterotrophic mode of nutrition right so which one it is so let us discuss okay you must be very much very familiar to the familiar to the plant name as pitcha plant right you must be very familiar to the plant word plant name pitcha plant okay now pitcha plant what it happens so this is say for example its stem okay this is its leaves right so what happens say for example this is its leaf okay it's one of the leaf so what happens actually this leaves it gets curved and gets joined okay so they will become circular and this is called apex what it is called apex this apex when it when the when this margin this is called margin okay this is called margin okay so margin what happens margin curves and join together and apex apex work as a lid okay so what how it will produce how it will turn into as it gets mature okay as it gets mature it will be into it will look like this right this figure you can see very what there is a picture like uh, shape is there having a lid right so that is how it is how the pitcher plant looks and it is a leaf part of the pitcher plant okay now what actually happens okay pitcher plant is green in color that also you can see but the problem with pitcher plant is it cannot prepare all its own food although it possess chlorophyll but it cannot prepare all the nutrients it can prepare only certain nutrients right so all the nutrients are required by an organism for healthy growth right so for other nutrients it, it depends on insects right it depends on insects so what actually happens 
so within that picture pot whenever the insects enter okay via opening what actually happens inside the uh, inside the picture there is a hairs there are tiny tiny small hairs are there okay so those whenever the uh, insects moves inside what happens that that insects get trapped okay that insects get trapped in the hairs right and then the lid gets closed okay so now what the insect cannot move outside what actually after that uh, the pitcher plant does is it secretes the digestive juice it secretes the digestive juice and kills the insect deprive nutrition from it right and fulfill its whatever requirements of nutrition is there right so this is how the pitcher plant depends on insects for for its nutrition right so we can say that as this plant is depending on the is depending on the insects for its nutrition so i can i can take them as as insectivorous plants right i can consider them as insectivorous plants as it depends on insects for its nutrition right i hope you understood what uh, uh, we have discussed the two examples of heterotrophic nutrition that is cascuta plant where it parasite and host relationship pair we have discussed and here in the picture plant where we have discussed about it depends on insects and how does it gets nutrition from the insects thank you class fine